friends. Without a doubt, the most important thing in your life will be your friends. This is not to say you don't love your mom or your dad, but family is a built-in feature you get in life whether you want it or not. Friends are a choice. People you purposefully choose to be part of your life to make it as enjoyable as possible. Additionally, with fewer and fewer people forming families, friends are all many of you will have in life once your family passes away. And so when friends wander into your life, they should be very, very cherished indeed. Sadly, all friendships are transitory, falling prey to the whims of life. Some will move away for their career, others will get married, never to be seen again. Some will have children, which obviously takes precedence over you. And most invariably succumb to age, obesity and defeatism where they no longer have the energy or will to live. This means if you want to derive the most joy, purpose and meaning from the friends in your life, you have four obligations. First, you need to find friends, and not just find friends, but be on the constant hunt for new ones. All friends are transitory, and you will lose nearly all of them. This necessitates you constantly replenish your social circle with them, lest you wish to be alone and have no social life. This doesn't mean you become an insincere person constantly seeking friends just so you aren't lonely. Such relationships aren't friendships but you keep a keen eye out for people whose company you genuinely enjoy and make genuine overtures in attempt to form a genuine friendship. Second, appreciate them while you have them. Again, the K College education system creates a false environment that misleads you to believe you will always have friends. But if the end of school doesn't convince you how precariously short friendships are, your 30s most definitely will. Friends who were once your wingman, your right arm, your trusty and reliable Percival will suddenly choose the television over you. Don't wait until the end of the friendship to enjoy them. Appreciate them while you have them. 3. Bring the friendship to them. In today's digital and social media times, you are going to find the majority of your real friends online. The problem is, they likely live far away. However, just like the US military brings war to foreign places far away, you too must bring your friendship to your digital friends far away. And though this may be a chore, your time and money is much better spent traveling to visit a years long digital friend than going night clubbing for six months only to get yourself a couple of marginal dates. Finally, 4. Let go. One of the most tragic things is to have friends who live within a mile radius of your home but you haven't seen them in years. Not for lack of trying, but they just prefer to get fat, stay in and watch TV instead of visit you. They are no longer your friends. Do not try to hold on to them when it's their time to go. Instead, save yourself the frustration and labor and move on to finding new friends. You had your good times. The good times are over. All friends are transitory.